Hey guys, what's up? Tyler with T Game and Tech, and today I'm going to be going over some of my top five favorite city tweaks. And these aren't in any order or anything. These are just my favorite city tweaks that I like to use in my iPhone. So the first tweak I'm going to be going over is Spring Tomize 2, and that is $2.99 in the Big Boss repo. It is not a free tweak, but I think this is worth the money in buying it. And some of these tweaks are free, some of them aren't. So you have so many options in Spring Tomize. I mean, you can do animations, you can mess with your dock, you can hide the dock, hide labels, hide reflections, hide shadows. You can enable a cover flow effect, how many icons you want in your dock, the app switcher, time machine, status bar, pages, theming, notification center. You can literally do hundreds of things. So I really think this is an awesome tweak. You can basically customize your springboard however you want. Um, I think I turned the pages numbers off for your different pages. Um, you can hide labels of icons. Um, you can disable badges, disable uninstalling icons, so that way you don't have people screwing with your iPhone and un uninstalling stuff. So after you apply things, all you need to do is hit the respring button, unlock your device, and all of your tweaks, your changes in that tweak should be taken effect. As you can see, I have a cover flow effect on my dock right there. Um, you can add more than one, more than four right there. I also disabled icon labels, so there's no labels as in like the names of the icons. And I also disabled the page numbers or the page dots whenever you swipe the different pages of your iPhone. So you can't really tell how many pages I have of app icons. So that's basically Spring Tomize, and I would highly suggest if you're looking for a tweak to highly customize everything. There's a lot of different tweaks you can buy that do the same thing, but Spring Tomize 2 really combines all those tweaks into one. And it is $2.99, but I think it's worth it if you're going to start putting some money in your phone and keep it jailbroken. And I'm going to mention this right now. If you don't have Activator installed when you um, install these different tweaks, it will be installed for you. Activator is a tweak that lets you do different things like swiping and gestures to actually start some of these different tweaks. So my next tweak I'm going to be going over is SB settings. And a lot of people might think, well, duh, this is a no, no duh if you're going to jailbreak. But I really just think this is what makes, this is really a reason I do jailbreak because I love having all these settings whenever I want them. I don't have to go through the settings app. I love being able to take off my data, my 3G, change my brightness, the vibrate silent, Bluetooth location, Wi-Fi, all that stuff. Enable and disable it within seconds. You can also go to more, refresh, dock, respring, power. Um, so it also gives you your Wi-Fi address, your data address. So it basically it gives you a lot of information, a lot of choices to do whatever you want. And I just think this is a definite thing if you want to jailbreak your iPhone, iPod Touch, whatever. You also get a icon on the actual springboard itself to go in and edit more settings. And SB settings is free and it's in the Big Boss repo so you don't have to spend anything which is awesome. And inside the actual settings you can actually disable stuff, you can set notification, set it for your notification center so you have SB settings in your notification center. Um, a lot of different stuff in that settings window as well. So if you're going to jailbreak, SB settings is basically mandatory. Um, if, if you don't have SB settings and you're jailbroken, I don't know what you're doing, but it just makes life a lot easier with an iPhone. Now this next tweak isn't really anything that makes my device run faster or do awesome things. Um, it is called Bitafont, I think that's how you say it, and it is free in the Mod My Eye repo. And basically, Bitafont makes you able to change your font throughout your whole device. As you can see, I have Expressway enabled right now. I used to have Ubuntu titling, um, but now I have Expressway. Um, I can't access other fonts because I have airplane mode enabled right now. That way, I don't get notifications and mess up this actual video. Um, but you can browse your different fonts. And then you, if you want to download that font, it will take you to the Cydia store, and you can download it. And all your fonts are for free. Um, Byte font, like I said, is free. So all this is free. So if you want to install a font, so I have it Ubuntu titling installed. So if I want to actually use it, just click on it and it will respring your device. Once it respring, you can see my font's different than what I had before. My numbers are different, my text is different, and this applies throughout your whole phone itself. I mean, it used to not apply to Cydia, um, but it does now, I'm pretty sure. But the font throughout your phone's changed. I just like this tweak because it just adds a little bit more customization to your phone. The next tweak I'm going to be talking about is AnyRing, and it is for $3.99 in the Big Boss repo, and it is on the higher end of money if you're buying tweaks, but I think this one's definitely worth it because in it you can set your ringtone to basically whatever you want it to be. You can change your ringtone, your SMS sound, and your email sound. I'm not going to play any of the sounds right now because I'm not going to mess with that with background noise and stuff. Um, but basically, you go in there, you can play your song, you can rename your song or your sound effect, whatever you want. 
Um, you can set it so it vibrates if you want it or not, or your screen will flicker. I don't know why you'd want that because usually it's in your pocket. You can change the system volume within it. Um, so if you want your ringtone for your text to be really loud or really quiet, you can do that. You can also change the duration of it. Um, as you can see down below, I have a certain part of this sound bit selected, so you can move that around and change that if you want to. You can change it so it cuts off a little bit at the beginning or a little bit at the end, or play the whole thing if you want to. So if I just go to the actual ringtone, um, you can actually choose your only your iPod song. So I have a Hootie and the Blowfish, Only Want to Be With You. I like that song. It's awesome. Um, I have that song selected for my ringtone. You can also record your own custom ringtones and SMS sounds and email sounds. Um, it enables you to record it through your actual iPhone speaker or iPhone microphone. So if you have a song or a sound clip you want to play on your computer, you can just put your uh, iPhone right up to it and record it. And you can set it as your ringtone through this tweak. So I think this tweak is definitely mandatory if you want to change your um, ringtone without trying to go through editing the file type or downloading ringtones from Apple. Um, this is definitely a, a way to go if you want to go that route. The last tweak I want to go over is Byte SMS. And originally this app was not free, but it is free now. But you do have ads at the bottom. And if you want to get the full version without ads, it is $9.99. And that is a lifetime membership. Um, that is a little pricey. And if you don't mind ads being at the bottom, I wouldn't worry about it. But I do not like ads when I'm texting. So I just gave in, bought it for $10, support the developers that give out great updates all the time. Um, but basically, you can do a quick reply um, from the lock screen. You can show timestamps on each of your texts, not like Apple um, shows only a timestamp every now and then. Um, but you can do all kinds of stuff. You can schedule text to actually go out. So if I want to schedule a text in the morning to wake myself up or text somebody and I don't feel like waking up to text them, I can schedule a text, um, as you can see right here. And I can quick compose. You can use the volume buttons to bring up different options to quick reply or quick compose. Um, you can add videos, add emo emoticons um, through the different settings. And I just really like this app. Um, as you can see right here is quick reply, quick reply, and so you have your different options. You can call, open, send, FaceTime, all kinds of options. So I think Byte SMS really just gives you a great um, option for an alternate SMS app if you don't like Apple's native one and you're jailbroken. I would suggest that there are other ones out there. I haven't tried them, but Byte SMS seems to do the job for me. Um, I really like it. So if you guys like these tweaks, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe up the top and check me out on my links below. And it'd be awesome. Um, thank you guys for being awesome viewers and supporting my channel. Thank you for those who have subscribed so far. And subscribe for more content. More content's going to be coming on this way. We're going to have some more unboxings coming up. Um, some more product reviews, app reviews, all that fun stuff. So thank you guys for watching my videos and being awesome viewers. And I'll see you guys next time.